Hello, I'm Dr. David Grayson, the director of the Dental Hypnosis Center of New Jersey, and today we're going to be doing a demonstration of a hypnosis technique known as glove anesthesia. It's designed for patients who are, for one reason or another, cannot tolerate traditional chemical anesthesia, and we have a patient here who's going to introduce herself and tell her a little bit about what we're doing. Hello, my name is Margie. I am um, severely needle phobic. Anytime I see a needle, um, anytime a needle comes near me, I twitch, I start to cough, I'll do anything to avoid a needle. This technique hopefully will make it so I will never need a needle when having dental work done. Okay, thanks Margie. Um, at this point, we're going to have to discontinue the video because I cannot demonstrate the actual induction into hypnosis on camera. Uh, the next picture you'll see will be of uh, Margie in hypnosis, but before we do that, I just want to demonstrate that right now she is aware and can feel. We have here an Endo Explorer. Which hand do you want me to use? Your right hand? Okay, just... You feel that? Yes, I do. It hurts, right? Yes, okay. it does. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Okay, we can turn off the camera. Relaxed and comfortable. I'd like you to imagine a large bucket of ice. A very large bucket of ice, and it's very, very cold. And I'd like you to place your right hand in that bucket of ice and allow your right hand to begin to feel cold and numb. With every second, the cold is making your hand more and more and more numb. Feeling very relaxed, very numb in your right hand. Just continue to make the, hand, the cold makes your hand more and more numb with every breath. And when you feel that your hand is so totally numb that you can't feel anything, I'd like you to signal me by raising your left hand. So when you feel your right hand is completely numb and can't get any number from the cold, just raise your left hand and then we'll know that your hand is totally numb. That's right. That's very good. Okay, Margie, I'd like you to give me your hand. That's right. And I'd just like you to tell me if you feel anything. Did you feel anything? I did the last time. Okay. Continue to get, put your hand back in the ice and just make it more and more numb. Even more numb than it was. More and more numb. That's right. Just more and more. Keep, keep making it as numb as you can make it. The cold is just so numb and cold. It's just so cold. Your hand is just feeling so totally numb. It's just with every second it's getting more and more numb. You feel nothing. You feel just the cold numbness in your hand. Just the cold numbness in your hand. That's right. When you feel as numb as you possibly can, I'd like you to raise your left hand again. And we'll try again. Okay. Let's see if you feel this. Okay, did you feel anything? Okay. What I'd like you to do now is take your right hand and place it on your right cheek of your face. And just feel the numbness go from your hand into your face. Just feel the numbness travel from your hand to your face. As your face, your right cheek becomes more and more numb as the numbness travels from your right hand to your cheek. Continues to travel, making your cheek more and more numb. That's right, just feeling more and more numb with every second. And again, when your face feels numb, your right cheek feels numb, that's giving you a signal and you can move your other hand down. just going to scoot over here, and again, we're going to see if 
if we feel anything. I want poking this explorer fairly hard, and we're not getting any reaction. So you can see that with the you can see that with this particular technique, we are able to numb the face from the hand. And of course, were we to do dental procedures, I would be doing a little bit more, a little bit more deeply, and have her transfer the numbness to her tooth and uh, the proper area on which we would be working. At this point, I'm going to bring Margie back to a normal state of awareness. I'm also going to tell her before uh, I bring her back that her hand and her face, everything will be back to a normal state, no numbness anywhere, and that she'll be feeling refreshed and ready to continue with her regular day. Okay, Margie, in a moment, I'm going to bring you back to a normal state of awareness. But before I do, I want you to realize that when you come back to a normal state of awareness, your hand, your face, and all parts of your body will feel completely normal. There will be no numbness in your hand. There will be no numbness in your face. There will be no numbness anywhere. You will feel exactly the same way you did before we started this procedure. So I'm going to count from one to five. And when I reach five, you will return to a normal state of awareness, feeling refreshed, feeling totally at ease, feeling comfortable, feeling no numbness anywhere, and feeling just terrific. So I'm going to begin now. One, becoming more aware. Two, more and more aware now, back to real state. Three, more and more aware. Four, eyes fluttering open. Five, completely back to a normal state of awareness. How do you feel? Fine. Did you feel anything the second time we did it? No. Didn't feel any, any pain from the uh, Explorer at all? No. The first time we did it, you did feel it. The second time we did it, you didn't. I remember feeling a twitch, but as that I was, explained, that was the first time. Merely but that was the first time, yes. and we did it twice. The second time, you didn't no. have no reaction at all. No. Nope. And when I jabbed your face with the Explorer, you also felt nothing. No. Great. Thanks for your cooperation. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. This is it. So we've had a demonstration of glove anesthesia, which is just one method that we use of using hypnosis in the dental arena. Uh, this is an excellent method for people who are needle phobic, as Margie was, people who can't tolerate chemical anesthesia, or for one reason or another do not want to be uh, placed into chemical anesthesia. There are other techniques that we can use for hypnoanesthesia that are much more difficult to demonstrate, but this is one that I wanted to show you. Thank you for listening.